Hello Mirela. Hello Kim. Welcome to Dork TV or Dork TV. It's great to have you here on the show. Do you have mainly, um, well, online presentations or are they, are they all back to conferences and, and meetups? Um, the dry run, it's only online, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But we have already all the mentees presenting, uh, oh, no, all the mentees that went through the program were presenting in person at different conferences. Oh, yeah. And we have, uh, no, three here, but I'm not going to tell uh, the names. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> And they are not uh, on their first presentation, so they have already uh, presented before. But they have been um, more or less through the program. Yeah. So the work is also well, participating in the yeah. success of the program. Oh, yes. Cool. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I will say that most of, well, like you say, basically all of the mentees have went on to have live physical mm -hmm. presentations. I would probably even go so far as say it's, it's not many online presentations mm -hmm. our mentee have, yeah, yeah, mentees that's true. have been that's doing. True. My personal tip for that is actually just give the question back to the audience if you don't know the answer, because there might be someone in the audience who knows mm -hmm. already what the other one was asking. That is a, a rather <laughs> typical one. And, and that is also one of the things that can be unnerving to a new presenter when you're presenting on a topic and you're new and really dreading that exp advanced questions come along and down there in the audience is the product manager of that product setting. It happens so often, but <laughs> I mean, even the product managers are human and most of them are very nice. <laughs> I remember that was one of my worst fears, like getting questions <laughs> afterwards and not being able to answer Good them. Answer. But yeah, so what about yours in the beginning? What were your obstacles? Why didn't you start presenting 10 years earlier, for instance? I was so scared of, of speaking in front of people. I'm, of course, not of course. As most of the developer, I'm a very introvert. So going uh, outside and speaking for people was very scary. Um, and um, the reason why I started presenting was because I was ashamed to get the question, what are you talking about? Because I was already going to the conferences, uh, because I'm uh, part of the Romanian Oracle user group and also the uh, EMEA community. I knew already a lot of speakers, a lot of ACEs, and I yeah, spent time with them, of course, at conferences. And then comes the question, what are you presenting when it's your session? And I get a shame. No, I'm not talking. No, I'm not presenting. So because of that, at one moment, uh, I said, okay, I'm starting and doing. And I had a, a project at my work. It was the upgrade of Apex. And there were uh, from 5 to 19, I think. And there were some specific um, steps that you have to do. do. There are, have been some specific tips that it will be good to know the one who is doing the um, uh, upgrade. So I uh, said, okay, I'm going to present this. And because it was a topic that I, it was familiar for me, it was easy to explain it, that it was easy to step over the fear in speaking in front of, of people. I'm still scared. I'm still, if it would possible to hide away, not to do the presentation, I would do it. But because I'm enjoying the community, And I also enjoy uh, sharing the knowledge. I'm, I'm going and I'm doing, and I, I, I think I'm getting better and better. I can relate. What about you? When did you start presenting? Oh. And why not earlier? Well, I started presenting in 2012. And by then I had been working 12 years with SQL. Um, and what, what I basically, mostly thought was that, well, I'm not an expert. And what I know, everybody already knows. So it's not necessary for me to, to get up there and talk about it. Um, so in 2010, I started really attending conferences where there were more hardcore developers and sort of found out, hmm, 
they are actually not using what I think every developer should use. And I go to other presentations on that topic and find find out that, okay, the reasonable presentations, but a lot of people afterwards go out and say, yeah, it's really good, but what can I use it for? And that's when I thought, well, okay, maybe others could uh, benefit from knowing what I use it for, because I use that every day and I could not imagine living without it. So at that uh, time I said, well, I got some good, interesting uh, use cases of it and made a presentation out of that. And what then, what, what for me really is the motivation, like the day after in the corridors at that conference, when I had given my first presentation there, another guy comes up to me and says, well, thanks for that presentation. I didn't really understand it before, but now I do. Wow. <laughs> and that's why I keep doing it. Yeah, that's a wonderful compliment. Great. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I think if you don't have anything else to add, I would add that the, the MESH program, it's not uh, focused only on people presenting at Oracle conferences. Uh, we are <laughs> wide open, let's say so. Uh, we have many mentees from the testing community mm -hmm. and they have been very su successful also. So it's not niched a niche program for only Oracle technology. It's a program that can uh, support anyone who wants to present. We are not uh, public speaking expert. We are just explaining how to do a presentation, a technical presentation mainly. Mm -hmm. But doesn't matter the field actually. Well, that's already yeah. covering a lot. Yeah. Great. So. And then you can find us at meshprogram.wordpress.com. Right. So I think with this invitation to everyone, <laughs> I thank you for your time and your input. Thanks for Thanks. making up the idea of a program. I think that well, is a solution for lots of, of problems that the user groups also have. And uh, sharing knowledge can only well, bring us all further. So keep going. Thank you. Thanks for thank having you. us here. Okay.